Hi, this is Lisa from Loops Needlepoint. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you the Byzantine stitch, or also known as the step stitch. Um, the reason for this is the pattern that you get when you make this stitch is, looks like a series of steps. Um, you can choose, there's so many variations you can do with this. You can use different stitch lengths, um, you can use different number of stitches to make each step. I'm going to start with a very basic one. My stitch length is of two, and my steps are four stitches long. So I'm going to start here. I'm always going to be working on the diagonal. Okay, so first I'm going to start, get my thread going where I need it to be, and I'm going to start by going down two, always on the diagonal. And I'm going to make, as I said, my step is going to be four stitches long. So my next stitch is going to go directly under the stitch that I just did. And again, they will always be, my stitch length will always be two for this step. And I'll do this until I have four stitches. Okay, there you can see I have one, two, three, four stitches. And now, instead of going um, vertically up and down, I'm going to start moving horizontally. I'm going to move mine to the right. So now this stitch is going to be next to the last stitch that I did. That last stitch was my first of the horizontal row. This is now my second. And I'll do number three. And number four. Oops. Okay, if I bring it a little closer, you can see there are four stitches going uh, in each direction. Now I'm going to start it going down again. So this one's going to go directly under my last stitch here. And again, that last stitch was my number one. This is number two. So basically, each time I switch directions, I only have to add three more stitches. One, two, and three. And you can see the step pattern starting to emerge already. Okay, again, now I would go again um, horizontally. So I'll go next to my last stitch. number one, two, and three. Okay, and I would do this until the end of whatever section it is that I need to fill. Now, when I want to do the next row, I can choose. My next row could be the same uh, size stitches. I could do a smaller one. For example, I could do just a single stitch in the next row, I could do a longer stitch. Um, I can, you can play with the different patterns and they'll give you, um, each one gives its own unique outcome. Um, in this one, I'm just gonna keep them all the same. So for example, here I'm gonna do again um, two stitches. So this is my next row up. And I'm going to just keep stitching it until I get to that corner. Once I've come to this point, I no longer need to really count how many stitches because I'm just following the steps of the previous row. Now I see that I have to move up in order to get the right length stitch because I made it to the corner. And again, here we come to the corner again, and now I'll start moving um, horizontally. Now, as you can see, the thread that I'm using is a little bit thin for this canvas. Um, I did that on purpose so you could see better where I was going through the holes. Um, if you use a better fill for your canvas, then um, you'll get a more dramatic uh, effect out of the stitch. Okay, I'll just do a little bit more to finish this row. So 
So really what you have is a series of steps, each one nested into the one that came before. Right. Um, now again, if I wanted to play for it, for example, if I wanted to, I could make this length, let's say three. Let's say I did a length of three stitch. Oops, dropped my needle, sorry. But if I go here, I could do one, two, three, instead of just a jump of two. And you'll see it'll give a little different effect. And you can play with it. You can, um, you can get something very nice if you switch between, let's say, two, three, two, three, two, three. Um, I've seen people do it. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, you can get uh, some very nice things playing with different patterns, or it comes out great if you just do it all the same stitch length. But I could, I still, I'm, I'm just following the step that came below to help guide me as to when I need to go across vertically and when I need to go horizontally. And you can see it's still following the pattern and um, each one has its own different effect, but this is a really nice fill for um, uh, boxes, larger areas, uh, house fronts, all kinds of things like that. Um, anyway, so this is the Byzantine or the Step Stitch. If you have any questions, please be in touch. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.